looking at the list of graduate attributes, uh, many of them are applicable to engineers, but I'd say the most significant one would be clarity of communication. And the reason for that is, is no matter whether you're a mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, or coming from elsewhere, civil engineers, you're going to have to communicate with different people within the business, externally, uh, the mayoral office, various different people, so you need to be able to argue your case clearly and concisely, which is part of the attributes, and also use different methods of communication. So on our systems, we have communicator like MSN Messenger. We also have email telephone, you'll have face-to-face -face interviews, so you need to pick the appropriate method of communication for the appropriate situation. And sometimes engineers think, well, I've got the technical knowledge, that's great, and then they don't always think about how they communicate it, but that is e as equally as important as the information they're communicating itself. Yes, there are a couple of other attributes that are important, and one of those would be information expertise. I think this one's particularly important because it talks about um, identifying the needs appropriate to the situation. So, for example, at TFL, if you're an engineer, you're working for the client. TFL is the client, and you need to adapt the information you have to that situation, various different structures you could be working on, you could be underground, overground, working on various different projects, so you need to adapt the knowledge you have to different situations. It's also about using different technologies to access the right information. So yes, you have your tutorials, yes, you have your lectures, but you need to be accessing the right websites, whether it's the Institute of Mechanical Engineers, the Institute of Electrical Engineers, magazines, and also making sure that that information is reliable, so cross-referencing it using previous information and information from previous projects, data from previous projects, to check that what you're doing at that time is correct. Also, rounded intellectual development is a really important uh, graduate attribute. The reason for that one is that um, it's about respecting the opinions of others and also believing in inclusivity, which is particularly important at Transport for London and for any engineering company. In terms of acting inclusively, you, again, as I said before, will be liaising with different departments. You also need to respect TfL as a whole. We are a London-based company, and London is a diverse city, so you need to be including the opinion of others. And also, as an engineer, just working as a mechanical engineer on your own is not going to be sufficient. And in terms of respecting others' ideas, if you've all come from different backgrounds, you'll all bring something different to a project, which will ultimately make it successful. If everyone's coming from the same perspective, it might not have the same effect. Clarity of communication could be applied by an engineer in terms of working on, say, a London Underground engineering project. It might be that you're starting at the beginning of the project at the concept, so you'll all sit down and have a meeting, people from various different departments. So you might have other mechanical engineers, but also electrical engineers involved, finance, as I said, procurement, quantity surveyors, a whole raft of different people. And so it's important that when you're talking to those different people, as an engineer, they understand what you're saying and you understand them. Also, because there's so many people involved, there'll be a lot that comes out of that meeting. So it's important, I think, to follow up that meeting maybe with an email to outline everything that's happened or the actions that you're going to take and follow up on that progress that you've made as an engineer. What contribution have you made to the project or do you think you could make to the project? And subsequently to that, it might be follow-up phone calls or follow-up emails again and other meetings just to make sure that from concept through to delivery, that community communication is clear throughout and ultimately you get the results that you're looking for. The Queen Mary Statement of Graduate Attributes is a very positive thing for the students, I believe. They link very closely to the framework that Transport for London assesses graduates on, and that would be our competency-based framework. So, 
students can use all different experience that link to the attributes and they can actually follow that through in terms of giving examples for competency-based questions. Other employers do use strengths to assess on and again the attributes would link very closely to them. So I think it's important that students realise whatever they're doing, whether it's extracurricular activities, studies, whatever it might be, that those examples and those experiences will link to the graduate attributes and see them through from assessment centre stage all the way throughout their career.